because if it had been a follow through, then it might have been a red, but there wasn't. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I was borderline. And I always think if you're going to send somebody off, it has to be straightforward. Hey, this guy has to go. Right. So yeah, I'm with, I'm with Don just. Uh, are you with Don and Stevie, Frank? No, I'm not. I'm not because I see the ankle moving. I think it's a violent uh, act. And uh, I'm sorry because I know he's late. I know he tries to get the ball, but it's very hard contact. And when I see, every time I see the pitcher, I have to, I have to, I have to hide my eyes because I think it could have been very, very uh, uh, dangerous for, uh, for Onana. Yeah. But at the same time, there is a, almost the same foul on Nunez 10 minutes before, I think. And nobody mentioned that because the player didn't even get a yellow card. But it's kind of the same foul as well. It's always dangerous. When you catch a little bit above the ankle, you can break the fibula, you can break the ankle. It could be, it could be terrible. So it's a violent act. Even if it's clumsy, it is a violent act. Liverpool being going to be OK, Don? Do you know what, Dan? I think, you know, jokingly a couple of weeks back, and I said, oh, don't worry, Dan, there's 108 points to play for. Then the week later, when yes. they dropped points, I was like, oh, 105. <laughs> yes, I'm 96 <laughs> now. And, yeah, do you know, and, and, I think, and I think that's probably what I meant a couple of weeks ago. I think what they're playing, Dan, and what they're doing is they're playing like kamikaze football. They're playing like their life depends on every single game. Normally, when you look at Liverpool, you see a batch of fixtures and you go, yeah, they'll win that, they'll win that, they'll win that. That might be tricky, but they'll probably get a draw or a win. Now I think what you're doing with Liverpool is you're living on game by game and you go back to back wins and you draw and lose points against Everton. And then you look at the game after and you go Wolves at home at Anfield. Then you go, well, that's a must win. And I think when Liverpool are at their best, Dan, is they don't play 100 million miles, miles an hour football. They play calm football. They control the ball. They get the ball to Salah in dangerous areas. Same as Luis Diaz, Firmino, Nunes example. I think now what they're doing is they're so frantic to get over the line and just go, let's just get three points. It doesn't matter how we play. That's not how Liverpool play. So every single time they play, they're playing like on the edge and it doesn't suit them. And I just think they're trying to survive. They're trying to find a way. Listen, the positives are if you're Liverpool and I'm inside that dressing room and Stevie's been there before as well and Frank in a Chelsea dressing room or wherever, you take the positives and you go, well, you know what, that, we're unbeaten in three. That's not a bad run because it's Liverpool. They're looking at win win, win, but not in stages and not in batches. It's literally every single game they're trying to survive. The biggest problem I think they have is they're not a unit. You know, they've, they've played at 100 miles an hour previously. The problem they have is that all three parts of it, the back, the middle and the front, the space in between it is off. There's either too much space in between the front and the middle or there's the back line's too deep behind the middle three. When they were at their best, those three compartments had the, all the space in perfectly. So when they went forward and they closed the ball, the three compartments went together. When they dropped off, they all dropped off together. So when you're attacking, teams can't get out if you cough the ball up when you're all together. And when you're defending all together, if somebody makes a mistake, there's somebody else there to clean up. Right now, there's just far too much space in between the three, the three parts of the team. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.